Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football, perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Gray on the commentary gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And on the menu, action from Europe's premier club competition, the Champions League. This, the first leg of the semi-final. It is Young Boys up against Inter. Well, the visitors may be heavy favourites to get to the final, but this has the makings of a great game because the hosts have a well-drilled defensive unit, are athletic when they press the ball and are threatening at set plays. It should be a good one, this, Derek. Mohamed Ali Kamara. Yanko. Itten. Top class defending. Barella. And it's with Dumfries. Marcus Tuham. Clean challenge. Careless in possession. What can he do with it now? And a goal! The opening statement in this semi-final. How important could that prove to be? Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? He may be. Mohamed Ali Kamara. Ugrinic. On the ball, Lustenberger. Castrio Timeri. Jean Pierre and Sam. Good movement. But timely defending when it mattered. Ugrinic. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. They won't complain about having won the corner. And maybe it could be. Oh, yes! Dispatching it with a plumb. Wonderful goal. Well, just look at this. He's so alive to the situation. That's a neat-headed goal in the end. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Barella. Filip Ugrinic. Well read to win possession back. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. So into the second half, and there can be no denying it. Inter really need to raise their game. Yanko. Realising that it might be opening up on the opposite flank. Lauper. Imeri. Sadie Yanko. Well, he's certainly not alone. Ugrinic. And a good take under duress there. Francesco Acerbi. Matteo Danmian. It's with Chalanolu. Barella. Regained possession. Losing possession. Well, getting the ball forward. But they took care of the situation defensively. Imeri. Oh, 
Must be! And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. And cleared away. And he'll take efforts like that all day long. Martinez. Lauper. Jean-Pierre Nsam. Opportunity here. And there it is. That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well, as you can see, he didn't mess about here. He just hits it with such power. That's a wonderful finish. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Chalanolu. And he has options available. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Well, the referee deciding that it didn't warrant a yellow card being handed out. Uh, the keeper completely untroubled. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Eaton. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Full time then, and the home side will carry with them a lead going into the second leg. Yeah, and what a performance it was. You can see the confidence in these players. The belief has been growing with every game. This tie's not over yet, but they must know, barring a major upset, they're just 90 minutes away from the final now.